thanks in large part to the worldwide popularity of the Galaxy brand of smartphones, Samsung is making twice the profit now than it was at this point last year. The world's leading manufacturer of handsets, TVs and memory chips, it now sells over $40 billion worth a year. It even sells components to its rival Apple for use in their smartphones, despite the legal dispute between the two of them. But marketing new products like the Galaxy Note 2, launched last month, is costing the company vast sums of money. We've also just come out of the Olympics within that quarter. The rumours are that they spent somewhere in the region of $2.7 billion around that and other sort of events within the summer. That's, that's a lot of money, but it's obviously paying off in the fact that they're selling a lot of phones. And what's interesting is that they have a lot of phones, laptops, tablets still to come from the rest of the year. It's expected in the last quarter of this year, in the run-up to Christmas, Samsung will have to spend money at an even faster rate to market those new products in its competition with Apple. And it will have to pay out a billion dollars or more in damages to Apple for patent infringements unless it can have August's US court order overturned on appeal. Added to this, analysts are expecting a global softening of the electronics market because of slowing growth in emerging economies. All this means that Samsung's recent surge in profits could start to subside. Jeremy Howell, BBC News.